Hi, this is a three minute auto pairing game on chessclub.com and I am pr playing against a player with the rating 2101. Okay, my opponent is playing the London system with the knight of three and bishop f4 and I'm going to go with this system where I play knight c6 and queen b6. Actually, now that my, my opponent's played knight c3, I'm worried about knight b5. So I'm going to play a6. Now I might continue with bishop g4 and e6. And I'm threatening e4, e7, e5 right now because the knight is pinned. And here I'm just trying to reclaim the pawn on c5. Notice queen a5 check is met by c3, which defends the knight with the queen. And I'm going to just take this pawn. And my intention here is, is just to keep developing by playing bishop e7 and castle's kingside. Here I might actually take this pawn. Play bishop d6. Okay, um, I was just getting my knight out of the way of his rook to prevent any unpleasant tactics. And now I might move back with the bishop. Now I suspect he's going to play knight e5, knight uh, from f3 to e5, and I'm trying to work out the tactics here because that would try to um, divert my knight from c6 so that his rook can come down to c7. And he's still thinking. Um, if he doesn't do that, I'll probably just castle kingside and maybe play rook d7 and the other uh, doubling up on the d-file. Actually, my opponent isn't thinking. I think we're just experiencing some lag here. Yep, and he played knight e5. And here I might play knight d2.
Okay. Um, and now I'm in a slightly worse endgame because I have multiple pawn islands which I have to defend. Which is a bit annoying. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to save this game. Now I think I might try playing e5 and then bishop d3. I can't play bishop d3 straight away because he's got rook d4 check. So that I can play bishop here. And the point of all this is just so that um, the bishop can come back to b5 and defend if necessary. Okay, and now my opponent's playing pretty fast because he's slightly low on time. And since my rook doesn't need to defend anymore, I can move it away. And might try to come down the open file. And my opponent's pretty low on time, so he's scrambling. Ooh, almost just lost my rook there. I might play bishop here. Defend the e6 square. And we've gone into a pawn endgame. And hopefully my pawn will beat his queen. And my opponent lost on time. Um, just a note here. Um, I'm pretty sure this endgame is winning. I'll just show you why. Um, this is kind of a technical thing, but... Um, He's got no way to avoid these checks. My queen will uh, slowly come closer. And... Sorry, that didn't make much progress. And then finally, queen g6 will force his king to defend the pawn. And then I check him here, which is awkward for him, because his king will have to move either in this direction or this direction. If he goes here, he loses the pawn. And if he goes this way, um, then his king is in front of his pawn, so he's no longer threatening to queen the pawn. And my king will slowly move closer. And then we repeat the process. Um, let's say he plays here. Check. 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 And now um, he must run continue to threaten the queen to, po to queen the pawn, so he can't play king here because that doesn't threaten the queen the pawn and my king will move closer. If he plays king here, my queen check will force him in front of the pawn. And if he comes in this direction, I check him this way and this is a repetition of what we had before. My king will slowly come closer and at some point I'll be able to checkmate him. Okay, thanks for listening to this video.